My dearest Blizzard, I've been on a journey through the Zambini jungle for 14 months now, and I've made a discovery. You sent me to this far land in search of a solution, a cure. And the specimens I'm sending you here may be the answer. Your scientists have made great advances stitching together beasts, but I've brought you something that will lift Hunter to its rightful place. To the top of the food chain. A few months ago, before the release of the Witchwood expansion, there was an eruption of cards on the r slash custom hearthstone subreddit, infatuated by bananas. Extremists asked for a banana expansion, a banana meta, but the majority force behind the movement asked that cards be printed to create a banana hunter. Today we'll be looking at some of these contributions to the cause, and I'll be showing you cards featuring banana buffs and their respected primates in an attempt to persuade Blizzard to make banana hunter a thing. First up, let's establish all the different types of bananas. Citing the Holy Banana Brawl, bananas is a one mana spell that grants a minion plus one plus one. This is the traditional banana, but this brawl also introduced other bananas that must be included in the Banana Hunter. Big Banana gives a minion plus two plus two, Deviant Banana swaps a minion's health and attack, and Rotten Banana deals one damage. Now I want to keep the particular type of banana deck open to the deck builders and what the meta encourages, so it's not like I think Banana Hunter has to be aggro, tempo, or control. But the key expectation of something that may seem obvious is that there should be a lot of bananas in this deck. With this deck, you should average around 20 bananas a game, and there should be a plethora of cards in your deck that will give you these bananas from battle cries, spells, and other abilities. Pretty much every turn, you should either be receiving or playing a banana. I've been showing you some of the more simple banana cards, cards that would be important to the deck in order to have enough bananas, but I want to dive into some of the other creative cards that people have made for Banana Hunter. Lady in Yellow is a 5 mana 3-4 with a battle cry that casts a banana on all beasts in your deck. So basically, this is like Prince Keliseth without a requirement and only to beasts. This version of the card is just talking about casting the 1-1 one -one buff to all beasts, but I think it should cast a random banana on all beasts in your deck. You could get an 8-7 high main, a 5-2 Tundra Rhino, or a dead macaw. Most of the time, this card's gonna make your beasts better, but sometimes your beasts are gonna take a hit. I think this is the best type of balance between luck and deck building to make it a viable option instead of or in addition to Keliseth. As you'll see, beasts are actually a really important part of this deck because it's not like you print banana cards. An unspoken rule is that you need to acquire them through other cards, usually via a beast. I think Lady in Yellow is a great way to incentivize building a predominantly beast deck while also continually changing the gameplay. But this deck is also about having a bunch of bananas in your hand. And what are you going to do with all those bananas? Well, how about you force feed one of your minions? For two mana, you can cast all bananas in your hand onto a minion. Please, just do what this monkey says and nobody gets hurt. Let's say with this banana deck, you hover around three to five bananas in your hand at all time. So being able to give a minion somewhere around five, five stats for two mana is pretty crazy. But even if that were the case, this value isn't instant by any means. It should take at least 10 turns to get a bunch of buffing bananas. Besides, you're gonna be incentivized to use your bananas throughout the game with synergizing minions or beneficial trades. So as fast as you're filling your hand with bananas, you're also probably playing them. And for force speed to even be worth it, you want to cast more than two mana's worth of bananas. Three bananas still isn't that great, four is good, and going up from five is when it starts to really get powerful. Buffing minions on the board is a powerful play. Look at Bone Mare, Fungal Dancer, etc. It allows for users to deal more damage to face, or set up their minions for more favorable trades where their minions survive and their opponents doesn't. This is why bananas in general are gonna be powerful. I think Force Feed is going to combo well with some cards that fill your hand with a bunch of bananas, and now for just two mana, you can make big swings to trade or finish off the game for you. Up next is Banana Mancer Fey, a four mana 3-6, and I'm going to change the text up a little bit where whenever you cast a banana, summon a 1-1 one -one banana drake. And these banana drakes are dragons with the death rattles that put a banana's spell into your hand. Basically, the minute change I made was you can use any of the four different types of bananas to activate this card, but the death rattle will still just give you the normal plus one plus one banana. 
and it's important to make this distinction. As noted in the Holy Banana Brawl Bible, we were graciously gifted three additional bananas and we are forever thankful, but one should not fall into the trap of gluttony. Basically, if you end up giving people too many of these other bananas, like the random chance of getting a big banana, which is just better, or deviant banana, which is almost like inner fire, which we don't like, this could lead to games that are just being decided by a random banana. And that's not very fun if it happens every single game. I think there's a time and place for some randomness and other ways to get these fun bananas. You could even change Banana Mancer to summon little zero ones with the death rattle that will give you big bananas. That way you can buff these little guys with bananas and then trade them in to get you even better bananas. And that's kind of the point of this card is that you could continuously loop playing bananas to get even more bananas until your opponent finally gets rid of Banana Mancer. So while I think any banana should be able to activate this card because I still want people to have the opportunity to use these other bananas, I think the death rattle should reward you with a specific banana so that your opponent can try to play around it. Giant Mountain Monkey is kind of like a death specific replacement for Arcane Giant. I'm expecting a lot of bananas in this deck so I'd probably bump this up to 12 mana and it will still be a powerful staple in any banana hunter. Bananal is a banana version of Gruul. It's a 8 mana 7-7 seven, seven that at the end of your turn casts a banana on this minion. I think this is where the four random bananas work best. Each turn you're gonna have a 1 4th chance of gaining either of these options. It's a little riskier than Gruul, but it also gives me an idea for my own banana card. Heavily influenced by Mookla's Champion, a banana feeder ahead of its time, I'd love to see an Inspire minion that casts a random banana on each of your minions. Inspiring before you attack could mean for better trades on the board, an inconvenient attack health swap, or if you're really unlucky, an arcane explosion on your own minions. It would be tough to balance this card for sure because Mukla's Champion is crazy tempo, and this card could potentially get you even better stats. Maybe you could make this a 5 mana 2 5, something that's meant to only buff your board and not really go face itself. You also have to consider that Hunter can't rapidly fill the board like the other classes can, so this is likely only going to hit 3 to 5 other minions. Personally, I think this sort of RNG would be fine. The majority of the time, it's going to be an overall positive effect, even if sometimes the stat swapping or 1 damage screws you. And opponents know that this card is powerful too, so it's going to be rare for this minion to stay on the board long. I think Banana Hunter could go in a lot of directions, you could include quests, you can include some more unique legendaries, but like I said in the beginning, the main thing I want from this deck is just a lot of bananas, because I think that could be a really interesting gameplay where you're constantly filling your hand with these one mana spells that are seemingly weak, almost like Paladin Secrets or cheap Paladin buffs, but in reality if you're getting so many of them, it's sort of like having a personal arsenal of bananas and cheap spells that you can use to your best advantage. I think it would be a truly unique deck and one that might be a little bit challenging to balance based off of how many bananas the players can get and what type of synergies are involved. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas of banana cards yourself. With the news of the next expansion right around the corner, it's time that we band together and make a plea to Blizzard to incorporate our banana ideas into the game. If you have any other ideas to make blank a thing, let me know down below. It's been a pleasure as always, and until next time, ta-ta. This is one of those cards that is meme enough to make it to the top voted custom Hearthstone cards. A meme? Just a meme? Yo, la, la!